Evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust, repping a superior way to cap. Um, I stand by those words, I'm quite enjoying repping at the moment. I am, I'm becoming a Lodgy bro myself. Now I'm a fake Lodgy, as with everything I seem to do, I'm a fake X, Y, Z, but um, I'm quite enjoying Lodgy. Um, I don't mind if I get kills or not, to be honest with you, as long as I feel I've had a good game. That's kind of my, that's my marker if I'm if I'm doing all right or not, it's just whether or not I'm having fun. Um, and I've got to admit, I do quite enjoy the whole kind of challenge of lodging, actually. It's not easy, and I think certainly when you get, like, um, you know, a good gang against you, it's very, very challenging indeed. Um, I'm using the Ladai Repper, um, or is it the Sixkin? I forget, but it's the dual one, only because I'm a massive Warpoint whore, and I'm not really interested in keeping my gangmates alive, because lol, fuck them. It's more a case of, <laughs> I guess, uh, just, you know, reaping the Warpoints, to be honest with you, but... Um, the, it does seem to do quite a good job. It's not as strong as the core focus, but I think certainly it's um, it's not bad. And I think you know, for a, for a quick ambush, just to get your your kind of eye in and get your points in, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, in fact, it's quite fun. Anyway, three days. Is it three days? I think it's three days or four days. You'll have to check this thing at the start because I've lost track. But uh, I have been drinking quite heavily as well, and it's almost fan fest. And I think again, I'm harping on about FanFest because it's in the Harper building. You see what I did there? Uh, never been there myself. The, the last FanFest I went to, let me tell you a story. Um, <laughs> yeah, a pirate story, sorry. Um, the last FanFest I went to was when the big war was going on and it was when ASCN and Bob were fighting. And it was when pretty much, I would say it's 50-50 which way it would go. And um, I went there as leader of Dark Star 1, that was my call. And um, we were a pretty big court back then. We had lots of capitals and all that bollocks. And we were seen as relatively successful in that fight. So we went to Fountain and we started taking Bob stations from them. And they got a bit ragey at this. And anyway, long story. But um, the game became you know, quite interesting. And then we decided as a group, as a corp, that we'd go. So I think probably about 9 or 10, maybe 11 of us went out to FanFest. And um, it, was, it was thrilling. It was fascinating. So hopefully if you're out there in, in Reykjavik right now, you're enjoying everything that we saw, which was obviously, you know, really cold weather, um, huge amounts of alcohol being consumed. Um, just, oh my God, the prices. Jesus Christ, the prices. I mean, I live in London. My God, it's expensive. It makes even me as a Londoner go, bloody hell. Um, I joke. It's, it's not that bad, seriously. Um, but I think you're, you, you're going to see what a different game Eve and its collective, you know, kind of programs are when you compare it to other games, you know. And I think certainly there's only one thing similar to it that I'm familiar with, which is Minecon, which again I've never been to, but it's it's of the same ilk, if you like. It's that kind of very, yeah, you know, it's a great gathering of people who are fanatics about a particular game. And when fanatics gather, you obviously get quite an interesting time, let's say, because. I think people are, you know, EVE players are quite friendly, they're quite open, and I, you know, I was quite worried myself when I when I went. I was actually a little bit concerned that, um, you know, I was going to get kind of picked on. <laughs> Just because I was a mouth, you know what I mean? I'm a bit of a mouth of the game, but... To be honest with you, I wasn't worried about it. I think it was more just a thing of, well, you don't want, you don't want some like four foot three dude coming up to you saying, you know, I'm a fleet commander, bro, and you're a twat. And I'm here at six four, and I'm like, you know, quite built. And I'd have just smacked him one. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to go to prison in another country, particularly Iceland, because lol, there must be like four people in there. So you know, you game, what are your game evenings in a Reykjavik prison? It's probably going to be <laughs> pretty messed up. Um, so yeah, I didn't, you know, I was always a bit skeptical of it, but um, this is this is all wordplay because I, I knew it wouldn't be like that because Eve's fan fest is excellent. They really is for some reason everybody just kind of comes together and even people who were you know our arch enemies in the game who I know didn't like me that much in the game we were drinking and having fun and laughing in uh, in Reykjavik and in the fan fest because it was obviously different. It was a different atmosphere. So I think, you know, people who are there right now, really throw yourself in. Just go to people you've never met before and say, hi, I'm so-and-so and I fly in this corp and this is my favorite ship, what's yours? And no one's going to look at you like you're an idiot because they're all there for the same reason. That's, that's the way it works. It's, you know, everybody's there to have a bit of a laugh and everybody knows about the game. In fact, that was probably the one thing that I learned about one of my first uh, FanFest, which was FanFest 2. 
because I didn't go to number one. I missed that one, but I went to FanFest 2. Um, was, my God, I know nothing about these games. I mean, I sat down and had a pint with a guy who um, was in ASCN. Uh, best lights ever, by the way. And <laughs> it wasn't, it was terrible. But um, <laughs> he, uh, he started talking to me about, like, uh, God knows what, because I couldn't even follow what he was saying to me. But I was just gobsmacked at how much he knew about the game. And I sort of sat there thinking, Christ, I thought I knew about this game, but bloody hell, I know nothing. And it was literally like Egret talking to Jon Snow. It was like, Jon Snow, you know nothing. And I, was, I just sat there like, you know, just sipping my pint thinking, Christ, I know nothing about this game. And um, I actually never engaged in conversation after that because I just felt such a twat, such a, you know, I didn't know anything about this game. And I thought I did, and that, that made me laugh. But that was my own personal insecurity. I don't think you'll find that. I think, to be honest with you, FanFest has always been an incredibly exciting, fun time. And if I may urge you a few more, because obviously FanFest is soon starting when this video is released, is find a dev, anyone will do, walk up to them and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, what do you do? And they will just love to tell you because think about the poor bastards at CCP who are behind the scenes. Think of all the team in China who do dust, who we never kind of get to talk to. Think of all the people who, who just literally never you, we hear of. Okay. And when I was at FanFest for, the, I think, the third time, I remember having so many conversations with CCP dudes. And they'd tell me, oh, I'm a marketing dude for Eve. And I'd be like, aha, uh -huh, okay. And we then had a fantastic you know, discussion about you know, particular models we use in portfolio analysis. I then found a guy who was the database um, something, the database wizard. Let's just call him wizard. Um, and he was telling us about how difficult it is to kind of keep so many millions of items and bookmarks. And this was back then when bookmarks were like so many of them. And he told me all about it. And he was like, wow, that's really interesting. And it was, it actually was. I felt the troll, you know, you know, levels in me dissipate because I wanted to troll them. But it was so fascinating talking to them. And they really had real passion for what they do. They were really, uh, I think, quite pleased and honored to work for CCP. I think they also had just a real kind of great attitude and they were they were so open and friendly to uh, to everybody that um that they seemed to me and they would just walk around and they sit down with groups of people people on their own just say hi how are you? you know who are you what do you do so i think you know i really wish i could have come to fan fest this year i think you know if, if i would have been maybe a bit more assertive i maybe could have but uh, you know end of year bonuses are coming dudes and it's like I've got to work for it, you know what I mean? If I want that paper, I've got to earn it. And, you know, to be quite honest with you, um, I would love to be there, but oh, just getting schedules to make, to, to meet just was impossible. Next year, I'll make you a promise I will be there. No matter what, heaven, hell, high water, I will be um, there. So if you're interested and you follow the channel, if you want, you know, if you're looking forward to an e-fest and you can't go this year, start saving for next year and we'll go. And I'll buy you a pint. There you go. That's my, my, my promise to you. <laughs> Seriously, a pint in Reykjavik is the same as a house. That's a lot of money, bro. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.